about that. So I'm going to give it over to you, Dia. Go ahead. Hi, guys. All right. Um, hey. So after listening and talk, talking to Malaika about all the amazing things that she does with yoga, I hope everybody's feeling inspired and feeling like doing a little bit of movement. Um, I just wanted to start out by saying the stuff that we're going to do is literally just sitting in your chair. So it gives a lot of you the opportunity to be able to do this stuff when you're at work. I know so many of you guys are now, although working from home sounds like it's easy and just chilling out like a holiday, many people are working harder than they've done in their whole lives. So I know many of you don't have time for yoga. So this is literally 20 minutes of your time. I just read today that there's now research saying if you just do 20 minutes of exercise four to five times in a week, it can reduce your stress levels up to 40%. And that's pretty huge. And I feel like right now, it's the, it's the key word. All of us need to de-stress, decompress, but stay strong at the same time. So we're going to get started on our chairs. Everybody get seated in the center of your chairs. We're going to get really nice and easy. Starting with our wrist rotation. Extend the arms out in front of you. And put your wrist in a, make a fist with your hands. Your thumbs are on the outside. We're going to start slow. One two, three, four, and five, and then we'll reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Why do we start with our wrists? Because these are things we're using all day long on the phone, on the computer, on many different gadgets. It's important to keep these agile, especially because you're gonna do workouts with your wrists as well. Second movement, hands come to the tops of your thighs, nice and simple, shoulder rotation. One, two, three, this should feel really good on the shoulder blade. And five. And then we reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Release and relax. Take a big breath, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do a side bend now. Let's work on our sides, our lateral side of the body to whittle the waist. Make your waist nice and small. So inhale, stretch up with that arm. Exhale and just bend. So all I'm asking you to do is keep that arm straight, which is actually challenging enough. Remember to keep your butt on the chair. Do not lift it off the chair. Another challenge. What is this doing? Engaging your pelvic floor. And what's your pelvic floor connected to? Your core. So this is a core workout. Turn that palm out. Release. Bring that hand back down. Inhale. And exhale. Opposite arm comes up. Stretch up nice and tall. Keep your head in the center, Malini. Lovely. Bring that ear all the way up. And bend. And remember that arm is so active that you're feeling that beautiful stretch in the arm all through your waist and both sides of your butt pressing into the floor. Feet flat on the floor, don't let them lift. Turn that palm out, release. You should be feeling that nice stretch in your sides. Take a breath in. Exhale. And now reach those arms out once again, guys. Let's bend at the elbow. Let me know if I'm going too fast, by the way. I'm trying to- No, plan I think we're good. <laughs> all right, great. We're gonna take our left arm Wrap them around the right. So this is Garudasan arm. You're getting a nice twist in your hands here. So when you have this twist, I want you to inhale. As you exhale, I want you to lift those arms away from your body. Now, when you lift, you'll feel that extra stretch in your shoulder blade. Why do I focus on the shoulder so much? Because all of us have tight shoulders, whether it's from bad posture, whether it's from overworking out other workouts, whether it's from sitting over your computer or your phone. Release by lowering the arms back down towards your chest. Release the twist and relax. Again, inhale and exhale. And every time you exhale, I want you to consciously drop the shoulders, relax the shoulders. We inadvertently don't realize we're standing and sitting in this position all the time because of all the tension in the day. So consciously relax. Arms extend, bend at the elbows. This time, right over left, opposite arm. Take a breath here. As you exhale, lift those arms away from you. Now notice the difference between the left and right side today. You will notice that one side usually feels quite a lot stiffer than the other. That's usually your dominant arm or the dominant side of the body that you tend to use. Lower the arm back down towards you and release. Another breath in and exhale. All right, now although we're sitting, that doesn't mean we can ignore our lower body. So I want you to take your left leg off the ground. Let's do quick ankle rotation. Joint mobility, remember? Two three, four, and five. Why am I focusing on ankles? Because you don't want water retention in the lower part of your body. Sitting around all day at a desk can cause this. Four, and five, release. Water retention, swelling, edema, just painful. Opposite leg comes up. One, two, three, four, 
and five. And then we reverse one, two, three, four, and five. Fantastic. Take another breath in and exhale. Moving back to your upper body. I want you to intertwine your fingers. Stretch those arms nice and high away from your body. Let's do a little bit more of a side bend. Take a breath. Exhale and bend to the left. Again, keep those arms active. Keep your head neutral. Feel that stretch in the sides and resist the urge to lift your butt off the chair. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the right. And again, I really feel that lovely stretch in my hips, in my sides. Again, inhale to the center. Exhale and release. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale, remember to drop those shoulders. One more breath here. And exhale. Now, I'm going to do something for your hips. Hips are where they say now we actually store more tension than in our head, in our necks and shoulders. So important to do hip releases every day. So come to the edge of your chair now. I want you to take your left leg. I want you to place the ankle on top of your right thigh. Hold on to your knee and the ankle. Take a breath here. As you exhale, just gently lean forward. Now, as you lean forward and drop your head, you're going to feel that really nice stretch in the outside of your thighs and your glutes. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come all the way back up. Release, switching legs now. So the right leg bends, ankle comes on top of your left thigh, hand on top of your knee. Take a breath. As you exhale, again, lean forward, relax the head and neck. And slowly come back up. Release, take a breath in, come back into the center of your chest. Inhale and exhale. Everybody hear me? Everybody see me clearly? All right. So we did our hip rotation, the hip opening. We did all of this movement for the upper body. A little bit more upper body work just to work again on the side. I know everybody has a nice strong core. Can you hear me? Hold on. Hear me? All right. Last movement for the arms and for your core. You're gonna bring your hands behind your head. Intertwine your arms right here. All right, now we're gonna work on our obliques. All right, the muscles right here to get to that nice shape. From here, take a breath in, exhale, bend to the left. All I want is the bend. Back to the center, bend to the right. We're just gonna do four like this. Center, take your time guys, take your time. Left, back to the center and right. Now we're going to play with this movement a little bit. So you start at the top, inhale, exhale, bend to the left. And then I want you to rotate and look down on the ground. Feel that twist. Come back up all the way. Go down again. Rotate. Back up and up. One more time. Down. Rotate. Back and center. Next side. Take it to the right. Rotate. Center, all the way back, down, rotate, center, and back, last one, down, rotate, center, and back, beautiful, I hope everybody's feeling a little sweaty and warm, that was the whole idea, take a breath in, exhale, and now for the relaxing, decompressing movements, so we're going to start with a simple neck rotation, before that we'll do a little twist for the body. Take your hands, bring them to the outside of your left thigh. Sit up tall. As you exhale, just look over that left shoulder. Feel the twists in your upper back and your mid back. And slowly come back to the center. Release. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands to the opposite side. Inhale and sit up tall. Exhale and twist. Now, I actually even felt a little crack in my spine here. So if you have stiffness in your back, this is a wonderful way to release. Come back to the center and release. Now keep your hands on top of your thighs. Take a breath in and exhale. One round of neck rotations, also called Brahmudra, very simple to release stiffness again and to relax your body and mind. Keep the eyes closed and gently take your head towards the left, your chin towards the left shoulder. And come back to the center. Gently taking your chin to the right shoulder Feeling that stretch in the back of your head and neck. Coming all the way back. Take a breath. Inhale and taking your head back, your chin upwards. 
all the way back to the center. And finally, taking your head down, your chin towards your chest. And coming back to the center. Taking your full breath in and exhale. Now with the eyes closed, I'm gonna Jake take you to a short visualization for your breath. This is called equal breathing. It's very simple. It's something you can do at any time, even in your office. If you have five minutes of quiet time and alone time, it really can help when you're having an overwhelming day, when you're having an overwhelming moment. Remember, it's always up to you how to react to the situation and breath really makes a difference. So with the eyes closed, I want you to take a full breath in and exhale. Now taking another breath in, exhale completely. Noticing every inhalation and every exhalation. Noticing the speed of your breath. Noticing the temperature of your breath in your throat as you inhale. Just noticing if it feels particularly warm, perhaps cool, or maybe just neutral in your throat today. Noticing the quality of your breath. Becoming aware of whether it's moving smoothly all the way from the beginning of your inhalation right up to the end of your exhalation. Or noticing if perhaps it changes a little along the way today. Accepting the breath as it is at this moment. Breathing with awareness. And as you practice this conscious breath, starting to pay attention to smaller details now. Beginning to notice the length of your inhalation. Doing so by counting silently in your mind as you breathe in. One, two, three. And now noticing the length of your exhalation. Noticing if perhaps one is a little longer than the other today. Noticing if perhaps one feels more dominant within your breath. And finally, beginning to make tiny changes within your breath. Now attempting to balance the lengths of your inhalations so that they match with the lengths of your exhalations. Creating equal breathing for a few minutes. Allowing this to happen almost naturally without disturbing the breath. And if the mind wanders, as it will, gently taking your attention back towards the breath. Keeping the eyes closed. Slowly beginning to bring yourself out of the breathing. Continuing to keep the eyes closed as you prepare to practice three rounds of Om chanting to end our session today. Keeping your shoulders relaxed, palms resting lightly on your knees. Take a big breath in and chant on the exhalation. And if you prefer, you can always make a humming sound instead of Om. Take a breath in. Oh, yeah. oh. 
nostro bene. Gently rubbing the palms together, slowly cupping your eyes. And that was the end of our session. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Malini, I can't hear you. Can you can you hear me now? Sorry, no. guys. I really, really enjoyed that. Thank you so much for that. I really also enjoyed that I could hear the trees behind you, which is like super calming and relaxing. Everyone, you can unmute your mics. Uh, tell us how you enjoyed the session. Arpita, you want to just tell us how you felt? Do you feel relaxed? Yeah, it was so, so amazing. It was so peaceful after so long. <laughs> That's so true. What about you, Janki? Did you feel some uh, relaxation from that? Totally good and helpful, right? You know, you get to connect with so many and you feel that everyone is at the same level, you know, relaxing and all that. So you can feel that vibes, basically the good vibes, as they say. So, yeah, it was really very nice. Awesome. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this today. Um, I've also in the chat box put um, Kriya by Dia, the Instagram handle you can follow. Dia, you want to tell us real quick where people can follow your classes and things that you're doing during the lockdown? Yeah, so I, I'm going to, I teach two Insta lives a week. Uh, that'll be, that's going to be posted on my, on my handle so people can follow that. And of course, if you're looking for private sessions and private groups and stuff, then you can contact me direct, directly, just message me and we can set something up. That's a separate thing from the Insta Live. So always happy to help and talk about yoga anytime. And guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Please do try and practice the equal breathing. It makes such a difference when you're having a, a moment. It makes a big difference. Absolutely. Sure. And I, all, all of us, I think, need this, especially during the lockdown. I found that very relaxing, and especially since we're on our laptops a lot. Thank you so much, Dia. That was really, really Most fun. Well. We had a great time with Thanks that. For having me. It was great to be a part of it. As I'm always, always I like Janki said, I feel like there's so much positivity in this group of women. Everyone is genuinely here to support others. And it's, it's a wonderful feeling. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I feel that too. Thank Every time so I see people on the group, it just makes me happy. Gauri, any last words? What's coming up? Anything you want to say? And of course, uh, you got lucky. You got to do this session twice with Dia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is something. Okay, thank you so much for being here, everyone. And um, to be very honest, your suggestions from you guys as to what kind of events we could organize. Should they be educational? Should they be fun? Whatever it is, please send me an email at gauri at missmalni.com. We'll try to incorporate everything. Since we have so much time now, we want to do more and more of these things. Even if you have some celebrity interaction that you'd want to be a part of, let us know. Malni will try to make it happen. And awesome. happy to be here, everybody. Yes, happy yoga day, everybody. Happy I hope you enjoyed day. that. And we definitely happy have more yoga days day. coming up. And yoga like, yoga day to happy you. yoga day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and just you. like Gori said, we're going to have lots of new events coming up. And uh, so keep watching the space. Please invite your friends. Uh, as you know, in this group, there's just so much love to be given. And that's why I always tell people, just tell other girls about this group because it will really add a lot to their life. And like Malaika mentioned, we've started a campaign called Ignore No More, where we're no longer going to allow guys to send us creepy DMs and messages. You can see more of that on the Ignore No More Instagram handle. And like I said, follow Kriya by Dia. You can join a lot of yoga classes there on live. Thanks, guys, and everyone who's watching um, our live stream on the Girl Tribe group. Next time, sign up, and hopefully you will also be able to attend a fun session with us. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.